In recent years, there's been an alarming increase in the rate of gestational diabetes, which has been occurring in parallel with the rapidly escalating rates of obesity in women. To put that in perspective, if we think about Pacific mothers, something like 86% of Pacific women who give birth at Counties Manukau are overweight or obese. And if none of those mothers were overweight or obese, we would be able to reduce the chance of them having a stillbirth by about 65%. Our research asks how the impact of obesity in pregnancy can be addressed. This matters because diabetes in pregnancy has an adverse effect on the mother's health and also has the potential to influence the health of the unborn child throughout its life. We will assess whether a nutritional intervention and a probiotic capsule, either together or separately, can help prevent gestational diabetes in obese women who are at the highest risk. So the University of Auckland is leading a team of really talented researchers and clinicians and dietitians and nutritionists who are just passionate about trying to do something to improve this problem. The reason why I'm passionate about this project is because of my Pacific ethnicity and I'm also really aware about the problem in our community. I feel that I bring in that knowledge and understanding of the actual community itself in that I have noticed with a lot of the research being done overseas is that it's been done on a different population and when they bring it here, they then develop interventions for our specific population which I find is actually not working. But that's because of the way it's been um, implemented which is not necessarily culturally appropriate. And so part of my role as a Pacific um, obstetrician gynaecologist working in that area is that it's really important for me to guide the people that are developing the research so that I can then have an input about what might and might or not work. It's translating the evidence and taking it out there to the family so that they end up cooking and preparing healthier meals for the families, for example, trimming the fat off from the meat, taking the skin off the chicken, adding more vegetables, reading food labels to choose which coconut cream is healthier, and then seeing that impact on the mother, on the pregnant mother, and then to the health of the unborn child. And also showing them how do you take that information and use it in your cooking, preparation and so forth, in the context of where Pacific people are at with the struggles that we have in terms of economics, social issues and cultural issues as well. The novel aspects of what we're planning to do is that we have specially trained community health workers who are going to be trained in nutrition and they'll be advising pregnant women and their families about healthy eating and pregnancy and by doing that we hope to be able to reduce the amount of weight that's gained and improve the outcome for the mother and the baby and potentially for other family members.